Hello ladies, happy 2021. My name is Olivia and in this video I will be wrapping with my absolute favorite scarf from the Rapunzel New Year line, the Tears of Teal scarf. Now this scarf I fell in love with the second I saw it on the day of the photo shoot and I, I think I think this is an absolutely incredible, incredible scarf. Now this is the scarf. I, this is the small side, the short side of the scarf. Now this is the reverse side of the scarf. As you can see, it has three different colors on it with the teal. Now for the front side of the scarf, we have beautiful shades of teal with the lovely tannish gold here, the black in the center, and the charcoal gray um, embellishment. The embellishment, of course, goes all the way across the scarf, all the, all the way across the length of the scarf. But this scarf, I have not seen a pashmina this wide ever. Oh my gosh, this thing is so big. It is so big. Um, for the for the photo shoot, I did a beautiful veil style over over this side. It was cascading down my shoulder, and the the length of the scarf, if put placed behind my back, came down to the small of my back. So it was like having this really gorgeous um, cascade of fabric. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. So what I'm going to do today is, of course, I'm going to do that wrap and I'm going to be doing um, a few more just to have a bit of tickle play. I mean, I just, this, this scarf is too special to just do one wrap for you. I'm probably also going to add a bonus wrap at the very end because that seems to be the way uh, things have been working for me lately. I do some wraps and then when I'm finishing up and signing off, I go, oh my gosh, wouldn't it be great to do <laughs> this wrap? So I'm just going to toss an extra one at the end, probably, and we'll see. Now, before I get to wrapping, I'll talk about a little bit about my shapewear. I am wearing the Bobo. I wore the Bobo at the, the photo shoot, so I thought I would keep it consistent. Now, I've set my Bobo back. I normally wear my Bobo up here at my hairline covering my ears, but I wanted the volume to be back more, like so. So I've set it back a good bit from the front of my hairline and have it behind my ears and it gives it a little bit of a different look it's not so much up here now the alternatives and um i think the ones that will look absolutely amazing with this are the wendy shaper and the uber uber poof they would both look really well or similar enough to the bobo in this position to give you the volume and all for this particular wrap. Okay, now that I'm done with the intro and all the particulars, I'm gonna get started with the wraps. I am going to take this scarf and I believe I had it with this up front. So I'm going to very quickly fold over the front and then I'm just going to make a couple of quick folds just to smallerize the scarf to fit my head a little bit better so I have these folds I'm going to place them on my head like so now my bobo I have set back further than I normally wear it just to just to give the volume a different look have it set further back this is exactly the way i wore it the day of the photo shoot so i figured i'd just keep it keep it consistent now i'm just going across like so bring these up closer to the front like this and I still have that huge amount of scarf in the back. I'm crisscrossing like so. 
Okay. Now when I get to this point, I'm just going to tidy that up a bit. When I get to this point, I'm going to take the scarf, I'm going to open it up like so. I'm going to fling it over to the other side. And then I'm just going to give it a quick, a quick tie. There we go. Just giving it a quick tie. And then I have this insane amount of volume right here. Just so, so cool. I can shift this to the back or just leave it here. So shift it, if I shift it to the back, this is what I get. I'll turn around. Just like so. And the, the volume goes down to the small of my back or the volume, the length of the scarf goes down to the small of my back. It's huge. It's super, super, super crazy big. Now for this, if I wanted to shorten it up just a little bit and keep the same style, I can always fling this back. I can always fold this over and do a couple of gathers here. Nothing really Oh my goodness, nothing really, really perfect. Just a quick, quick gathers. Okay. Okay, and then I can fling it over so it's a little bit shorter like this. And I can do the same kind of thing right here reach through and that just shortens up that hanging piece in the back without detracting from the beauty of the style. I sort of, I really like it the other way now with all the cascading scarf. It's very feminine. Okay, now for the next wrap, I'm thinking I'm going to do, I'm gonna do a turban style. Now this is, oh my goodness. I'm just keeping it a really simple style turban. So I'm, a bit, I'm going to cheat and I'm gonna lay the scarf in my lap and I'm gonna fold it in my lap instead of flicking it in the air. Just because I, I just want it to be a little bit easier on myself. I'm going to do four, four pleats like so. You can do as many or as few as you'd like. just easier doing it on my head than me doing my head on my lap than on my head because the extra velvet of this shaper keeps it from moving so much which is great except when you really want your scarf to to move all right set this back just a little bit i want it to be just on top of the shaper so i have a little bit of hair showing just fine. Okay, I'm not tying a knot because I don't want that added bulk in the back. Okay, so I have these. They're about even. I would have liked to them to have been even, but that's the way it's gonna go. So I have these, these plates. What I'm going to do is just gather up both sets both sets, both sides, 
of the scarf, making sure any very wonky pieces are folded in, like this wants to, wants to be a little weird. I'm going to bring these up. Not, not super flat, but not, not really bulky. Bring them up back here. I'm going to tie a knot. Now when I tie the knot, I want this, the longer end to be up front, like so. And I don't want the knot up here. I want the knot set back further, hopefully between the channel of the first and the second, second um, tube of fluffing. That's where I want it to be. So just like that. Now when I have this, I'm going to take my friend here, give it a good twist. And I'm going to stuff him in just like so, just to get rid of his, his fringes. Okay. Now with this side, I am going to open it up a little bit, just like so. And I like the way this works. I like the way this looks. So I'm going to keep it open as I get it to be all on the side, just like so. Okay, now I'm going to give it a little poof, a little poof. I like, I like the volume. And instead of, I think instead of tucking away all of the fringes, I'm going to reach through. I'm going to pull these out. I'm going to pull these out. I'm going to pull, put my fingers through. I'm going to grab the scarf and I'm going to pull it through and have like this. I think this is really cool with all these, all this floof. This is really fun. Okay. I'm really enjoying this because I have all this drama with the, with the dangling fringes. I have this huge fan. This is out of the way, so it's no, no big to do. And we have some, some pleatage. Now, of course, I could add a pin or, or any number of um, accessories. Let me turn around and hopefully this is really neat in the back. If not, I'd fix it before I left. So. This one, I really like. This is crazy, crazy awesome. I'm going to move on from this one, even though I really enjoy this one. This is so pretty. Okay. Now, something a little bit less dramatic. I'm just gonna move. So I have the, all right, so I have this. I'm bringing it up in the channel. I'm doing the same tying with the long end in front. Okay. So when I tuck in my friend here, loosely, loosely twisted. Okay. I'm going to bring this piece up and open it more. And I'm going to take this piece instead of bringing it back for a fan. I'm just going to bring it on this side. A little bit neater, a little bit less volume and tuck away the fringe on this side. Now, this is just a little bit, a little bit less volume. Still in keeping with a nice turban, just like so. Okay. I'm 
one more like this, I think. I bring it up, back here, tying again, dead center. Okay, I'm going to open this up back here. And then I'm going to take this tail, flip it back, and there you have it. Here's another another wrap. Now, if you wanted to feel a little more secure, okay, you can always take a pin and put a pin right here into the shaper. So I would flip this forward and take the pin and run it up and down and catch the shaper with it. And that should hold it. So you have like so. Okay. Now, whew, what I'm thinking is I'm going to move this so I have one extremely long end and one short end. trying to keep the folds. Okay. That may work or it may not. Okay, so I have kept three of the folds. So I'm going to re-put in the one if I can. All right, so let's move this. Now, I want these closer together so that they're very small. And this guy, I'm just going to be tucking underneath. Now I think I can reach inside of my shaper and tuck it right inside of inside the back. Bring this down and around. Okay. Just like so. Now I'm going to take, see if I can't keep some of those folds. They did stay. Yes. Thank goodness. Okay. I'm bringing it up and over just like so. And I'm going to, of course, adjust these. Just to be, just to be a neat nick about it. Then I'm going to go back around. Now this time, when I bring it up, and over, I've got all of these really insane pleats. It looks like I have gone insane crazy but it's a way to do these pleats without driving myself nuts. Just straightening that out. Bringing this back around. Any pleats that get out of place, I can fix them. So and this I'm going to tuck in to the channel. Okay. So I'm going to walk this particular pleat back and smooth out. Smooth out. 
going to bring this one forward. Just like so. Now this I want to roll out. And I'm going to show it to you from the back so I can show you that, yes, it's a little messy, but I'm going to roll it in so that it doesn't look so bad. So you see all this looking weird. I'm going to roll it in towards the dinosaur frill. Like so. Okay. Making this neat as po as neat as possible. All the way down. Okay. Okay. Now I do hope that that is neat. Now these are a bit of, they're a bit messy. They're a bit, they're not 100% even all the way around. And that's okay. That's okay. Cause it can be fun this way. I am a perfectionist when it comes to pleats, but I'm going to leave this because it's really, really, really cool this way. So, okay. Wow. Okay. So there's that one. Oh, so much fun. Okay. I think also a, a, just a little change up of this, if I wanted to have a little teeny tiny tail, I could bring find the pocket, bring this guy through. Okay. Just like this. And I've got a tail on the amazing amount of pleats. Empty. Okay. I'm liking that. Take this down. Now I think I think this will be the last one, but I think with leaving this with the extra long, I could open this up instead of the pleats. I can just bring this up and over, do a swish to change it. We have this whole thing coming this way. And then I'm going to spin it over, bring it around, opened up. Okay. I'm going to spin it over so that I have this in the front. I'm going to bring it up again and spin it over one more time. So it's sort of a, a double twist. And then I'm going to take this guy and tuck him in. And make sure that this light colored scarf is able to be seen. The light colored portion of the scarf is able to be seen. Okay. All right. I hope you ladies enjoyed this video. Um, if one more wrap comes to mind, I'll just put it at the ends as a bonus. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next tutorial. So what often happens when I finish up a wrap video, I figure something else fun that I can do and add in the bonus. Now for this wrap, I'm going to be trying for even Steven and I'm going to be tying it on with the folded portion at the back of my neck and bringing it up. I'm 
Now, because this is super large, this kind of sort of happens. So I'm going to go with it. I'm tying a knot just right here, like so. And I'm going to just leave this be, just like so. This portion of the scarf, I'm going to bring around the back like this. Bring it up and underneath like so. Just make sure I show off a little bit of that light color. And I have this beauty right here. I'm just going to do the same thing going back around. Just like this. And I'm going to tuck in those fringes. That's a look right there. I totally have left them out. Okay, I'm just going to tuck them in like so. Adjust. I can have it come up and cover, which is a thing. Let's see if I can get these guys in here. Okay, so. Just open that up. Loosen it up. So this is kind of an interesting, just an interesting fun look. I'm gonna spin around, show you the back. Now, I sort of liked it better when this was, op this was open in the center. So I'm just gonna fix it. And this is my absolute last wrap for the day. So, okay. Just adjusting, bringing these down and around. Keeping the scarf open. I don't know if I said that the last time I brought these around, but just keeping the scarf open, making sure I can see some of this one here and then this one here okay bringing it around sort of opened up now with this one i could bring it up on the top i think is what i did the last time making sure that all of these small bits are small bits are put inside but i could probably have tucked it in underneath here as well so bringing this around and up and so i'm actually liking this a lot i think this would look really really cute with my wendy sure these guys get hidden and this can come up okay I'm thinking this is super awesome some fine touches you know messing with it a little bit to get it neater um, just just more 